Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of want to go ahead and update you guys with the Freeze, to or Freeze Pulse Totem Progression character. Uh, this is going to be my Scion in the beta currently. So we are level 83 as of right now. We just, well, we completed our Uber Lab yesterday. Um, pretty much right before I went to bed. And we just started essentially modifying the tree. Um, to go into Ranger. Now, unfortunately, because we don't have Act 9 or 10 yet, I believe we're like 5 to 7 skill points behind. I don't know exactly how much, uh, which kind of sucks because with these extra skill points, I could like grab Throat Seeker and Acrobatics. But I'm still working to modify my tree. I'm actually debating on dropping this whole Templar spot, connecting through here, grabbing Devotion and extra Jewel Socket, and then like coming up and getting Acrobatics and Heart Seeker and using Serpent Stance temporarily because I modified the tree just a little bit because getting Void Batteries in the beta is going to be really retardedly difficult right now. So we're just using a Terran Shiver. So our links are Faster Casting, Spell Totem, Freezing Pulse, Added Cold, Cold Pen, Added Cold, got a huge buff in this patch. Um, I actually prefer using this over Control Destruction in a Terran Shiver, which leaves our 6 link option for like uh, basically Control Destruction, Empower, um, I wouldn't really use Alley Focus. Increased critical strike chance is pretty good. And we're just running Herald of Ice, which just gives us a bit of damage. And we are also running Clarity. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I guess the rest of our links, we've got Arcane Surge, Faster Casting, Assassin's Mark, Increased Duration, Vol Lightning Trap, Summon Golem, or Lightning Golem, Clarity. I was going to use Lightning Warp for mobility, but you use Reduced Duration on Lightning Warp, which makes your Arcane Surge last like two seconds. And for people who don't know what Arcane Surge is, you can just read it here. It's the new gem that comes out. Uh, then we've got just the standard, pretty much nothing else set up. Increased Duration, Decoy Totem, Vol Haste, and Frost Bomb. This is really cool, and I'll show you in the map for map bosses, because normally I can only have out two, two totems, and that's it. But because of the Hierophant Ascendancy, I can actually pull out a third totem in my helmet, which is a decoy totem. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how it goes. So this is a Goatman Equilibrium uh, Double Boss Extra Fire Canyon, which means we're going to have four bosses. So as my friend is telling me right now, actually, one thing to note is that boss health has been bust, or buffed dramatically in the beta and due to these substantial changes bossing has become like much more difficult at least in mapping so like a lot of people have just been like almost skipping the bosses if they don't really need them because they're just a lot harder to kill now basically so take that into mind when you're kind of looking at this build because i know people are comparing it to live and boss health has been reduced or increased by so much so uh try not to judge a build entirely just based off of its bossing and maps I wanted to run things like Rally and Cry, but I just don't have enough, like, hotkeys on my bar to be able to do it. Also, what happened to my golem? A little golem, bro, what happened? This also gives us the ability to set up, like, a castle damage taken in our boots, because I literally have, like, nothing set up there. Remember that this is an elemental equilibrium map, so the mobs do have, what, like 50% cold res while I'm hitting them? So, uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference on the mobs, like I said, because mobs weren't really buffed. It's just the bosses that were buffed, so these canyon bosses are probably going to take, like, like a good, like, 30 seconds to 60 seconds to kill, especially because it's double boss canyon. Alright, here they are. So I'm going to do my decoy totem strat. Actually, I just got pinned. Okay, decoy totem down. One, two, here we go. Deeps! Alright, so the two chickens are dead. We got two enraged doges, one enraged doge. Let's put the decoy totem back down. He took the bait. Holy shit, he like one shot it actually. 
Alright, decoy totem's gonna chill over there. Let's try this again. Woo! Alright, is Chicken Boy still up? Chicken Boy's still up. Here, you can hit that guy, Chicken Boy. I couldn't flame dash because I got oob, dude. <laughs> he hit me so hard, I couldn't flame dash. Feels bad. So that would be a double canyon boss, and it still works out pretty well. Um, for those people who don't know those bosses, they enrage when you kill them. Or like when you kill their buddy, and uh, those guys get pretty fucking PJ salt. So I wanted to kind of show it against them. Normally the decoy totem lasts a lot longer, and you can like position your totems really well, but... On enraged bosses, it dies pretty fast because I'm not specced into like any totem life or anything. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how the character works right now. I'm having a lot of fun on it. Definitely a ton of room for improvement. Um, like I said, with optimizing this tree, I really think it's going to be better for me to cut out from here and here and just scrap all of this and just come and grab like devotion, another jewel, move in, grab my acrobatics, get heart seeker, get another jewel. Uh, pick up Serpent Stance. The only reason why I still have Totemic Mastery is because I really want placement speed because I rerouted my tree to drop proj damage because I didn't want to use Totemic Zeal anymore. Uh, and I just feel that, like the mana and Shaper is way more, like, I guess beneficial than proj damage and Sentinel for me. But I feel that I don't want to lose more totem placement speed because it feels okay right now. Um, but I do have a 20% quality spell totem, so this is what it would feel like with a 20% quality spell totem which is like much better um, and losing Totemic Mastery would make me lose another 16% so we'll see exactly what's going on there but so far I am pretty happy with this character I was thinking of more defensive options right because I'm pretty squishy right now mainly again it's because of the lack of skill points and it's beta because I could pick up like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8 and then potentially like 9, 10, 11 knife nodes adjacent to me uh, for the most part but what I was thinking of doing is, since Cloak of Defiance is super meta right now, I was thinking of just going Lightning Coil, uh, or like Kintsugi or something, because I've got Acrobatics literally right here. Um, and the cool thing about this right now is I've got Druidic Rite, which is Flask Effect Duration, and I've got Alchemist, which gives Flask Effect Duration and Increased Effect of Flasks. So since I'm playing a Totem build, I think it's really important for me to rely on charges, and I have all my flasks up for about 7 to 8 seconds at a time. Which is beautiful, because it allows me to keep them on for so much longer. In fact, I actually think I have another belt here for reduced flash charges gained. Where did I put it? This one? Reduce, sorry, reduced flash charges used in flask effect duration. If I had a belt like this, my flasks last 8 to 9 seconds, and I can actually hit like a basalt flask twice. Which is insane! Like, if you think of bossing, this is absurd. It's beautiful, it's so great. Because uh, that gives you like eight, 16 seconds of like optimal flash time on a non-Pathfinder. Um, and then you can just take a portal and, and just redo it. Because to get power charges on our build, we just summon totems. And bam, like there's my charges. So I'm so far really liking this character. I'm really feeling like a coil. I think a lightning coil would do pretty well. Um, that also, if I got like an evasion helmet and evasion gloves with a coil, I could probably get, I want to say like... 5k evasion that's not that much but hey it's something and 5k evasion with acrobatics um it's just an added layer on top of mind over matter which i really like so that was pretty cool as well um but yeah that's pretty much all we've got going for the character as of right now as for your bandits remember you want to help alira but i don't really know too much that i want to change i'm pretty happy with like to be completely honest uh freeze pulse Where's the prod speed on this as well? I'm currently at 124% projectile speed for my freezing pulse, and it is level 18 right now in my plus two Terran Shiver. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, the character was pretty easy to do Labyrinth on, mainly because of the decoy totem synergy. Uh, it helps a ton for bossing with the exception of mobs that enrage like instantly. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. But remember that you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox 
where you can see me doing all this content live, and uh, that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.